Good morning and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today I'm taking my first look at, um, you know, at a an adventure module that was sent to me by a friend. Uh, he asked me to, you know, take a look at it. Um, he, of course, said that, you know, listen, this is just a, you know, um, this is meant to be very amateurish looking, kind of like as if a a 12 year old wrote this module in 1985 and and so once i opened it up and i started taking a look at it i was like yep that i definitely hit it on the uh on the head right from the from the artwork to the to the type uh that was used the font that was used you know really has that uh that old school feel of it and the more and more i took a look at it that you know the more i was really impressed with the fact of, you know, just just how it comes off. And, um, you know, these are the kinds of uh, hidden gems. I'm going to call this a gem. Uh, these are the kinds of hidden gems that you find within the OSR. And uh, at generally very low price points as well. This is only $2. So it's on sale until, um, until October 31st and uh you know just two dollars and the adventure module is 23 pages long so or somewhere around that bounce so um you know you're you're getting basically you know 10 cents per page uh, worth of uh worth of content here and and that's a that's a pretty reasonable bargain now i'm also going to show off some of his other you know some of his other titles because he has he has about sixty eight uh, titles on uh, Drive Through RPG. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into Die 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 Pig Orc. Now I, I will also mention uh, just as a warning that there is uh, there was some foul language in the content of this. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire adventure because i don't want to create any spoilers i'm just going to read off a few of the uh a few of the things that really stood out to me so it was you know don't want to blow it for you so here we go now when i first read this i thought it was pig orc die 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 but then looking at some of his other material it's actually die 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 pig orc but uh, you can see the art is uh, is definitely that you know very sketchy, uh, far better than I could do. Right? Let's let's just make that clear. Far better than I can actually do. But I, I just love the um, just the texture of this, the the feel of it, and and what it uh, really it does what it's meant to do. So back to the dungeon zine for OSR games. Uh, this is an OSR BX legacy zine mixed with some advanced for levels one through five and a bunch of NPCs. So he goes through and he starts describing uh, the situation that the player characters are gonna find them in. The kingdoms of the North uh, Western lands have fallen to wars um, and they've been lost. Man, elf, dwarf, and halfling are on the run or are waiting for their doom. Uh, there's a few curses in here. So, uh, you know, the gnolls come from the northeast. The uh, goblins, hobgoblins, and bugbears come from the east. I believe uh, and undead are coming from the southeast. And here you have a hand-drawn hand map along with the uh, the typing of the various locations. Uh, he does include a scale here, so you can see the creep wood at its base is 25 miles wide for scale, so you kind of understand that this is a 25 mile wide um, scope, and then you can kind of extrapolate. It's probably about 30, or, it's probably about 40 uh, miles long. We have uh, the High Hill Forest and its area, along with some, you know, key locations either typed out or uh, 
or, or drawn out on the map. Here you have another uh, pig orc, which the pig orcs that happen to be my favorite too. I mean, it's 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 so old school D and D. It's it's hilarious. Um, now he goes through like a lot of like a, a story build up here and kind of talking about the various uh, the various situations that are going on. And then you actually get to the adventure here. So it starts off with, uh, you know, basically you're sitting in a tavern. And, um, and these are uh, rumors that the, uh, that the player characters can pick up on. Um, he also mentions that um, there can also be a bro SR faction war game as well and everything possible faction should uh be used uh, or could be used so uh yeah you can convert a lot of this to war game uh and uh and that's what he's really referring to is as he's talking about um if you wanted to you know play these scenarios out um uh, using using miniatures on a, a like a skirmish size scale then you could certainly do so here you have the town again everything hand drawn everything you know the type the typing uh the typeset is something that you would you would see from uh an old word processor in in the mid 80s so it really is uh, a nice look to it now what stood out to me when i got through here is um you know because he he does he includes a description of each of the locations and physical features and, and such. Now, remember, this is a party of up to five first level characters plus NPCs. So, and I'll get to that a little bit. But when you start looking through some of these town encounters, so the daytime, you can encounter 22 brigands. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow, that's a heck of a lot of big brigands. And then... I looked at the um, the treasure. I mean, if the players, uh, hopefully the player characters have at least one wizard with a sleep spell, and um, you know, and you know, plenty of plenty of ability to handle taking on twenty two brigands. But the payout is uh, one thousand silver pieces, seven thousand gold pieces. And gems totaling a total of 1,520 gold pieces. A first level group defeating this many uh, brigands and then gaining the experience from gold collected alone. Um, most of them are going to push above um, into second level just from that one encounter. Encounter number four, I'm just going to point this out that they, they, could, they could encounter... Raksha, uh, Rakshasa, well, I always have trouble with that um, name. So three of them. So this is a party wipe scenario. If they actually end up encountering three of these and and they end up on the wrong side of their, you know, anger. Um, so I was like, wow, that's pretty, that's a pretty hefty, that's a party kill right there. Nighttime. Doesn't get easier. Five whites. All right. That's a party white right there. Um, I love this. The up to D10 whores, <laughs> level zero NPCs. Might be a thief thrown in there amongst them. Um, there was a, I saw someplace in an encounter. So here are the, here are the NPCs that they can actually encounter. I thought there was a vampire. In one of these as well. Uh, maybe that comes later. Um, but these are the NPCs. So there's plenty of NPCs that they can end up encountering that might assist them with some of those other encounters there, uh, especially the larger ones. Oh, here we go. Six, a vampire, one. <coughs> so your first player character, uh, first level character party encountering a vampire is basically a group wipe. So then we go into a, a, a high forest uh, wild crawl. I like to like calling it that. And so they can face brigands. Again, 22 brigands. 
Um, this here is uh, this here is small clam, mysterious, serene, a Nixie. All right, so Nixie live here. So some Nixies, a green dragon. So they can encounter a green dragon here. Um, not going to be very uh, very survivable if they end up fighting it. Or it ends up going after them. Uh, let's see. We continue on through. So there's a lot of different encounters thrown in with each location. We get to the Necropolis, which is obviously a dead city or undead city. This would probably be to the southeast. I believe they said the uh, undead hordes were coming from from that location. And ghouls. Let's see how many ghouls. Only two of them. All right. So that's kind of manageable, um, even though they're kind of tough for first level. But two of them is, is manageable. Uh, fire beetles, just two, so that's that's manageable. Murlocs, looks like quite a few of them. 38 mur uh, Morlocks, Morlocks, not Murlocs, Morlocks. So, 38 of them. So that's quite a few. Alignment Chaotic, yeah, if you're not familiar with BX, um, it's just Chaotic, Lawful, and... Uh, uh, chaotic, Lawful, and... Uh, and Good, sorry. Um... No, I'm sorry. Chaotic, lawful, and neutral. Centipede, giant worker ants, lone troglodyte. So definitely manageable. Again, another another handcrafted uh, map. So a main orc base, 26 orcs. All right. So that's a. Uh, this should be a major battle. Warn the PCs that they should have as many NPCs as they can. Yeah, so so that's where it is. It's not just five characters going against them. Hopefully, they pick up many of those NPCs along the way uh, to assist them uh, to deal with some of these challenges. And um, we can see five ghouls, one zombie. That's odd that you only have one zombie, but pretty cool stuff. And then at the very bottom, he says... So 24 pages, all of content. So that's that's pretty impressive. Just got inspired by an inner 1985 12-year-old to make a yet another little crappy zine. This is just some dude and his computer. It is not supposed to be a polished product. Have fun with it. Add to it what you uh, see fit. Print it out in a booklet form and fold it over. All right, so it's back to the dungeon BX Legacy and um, LLAEC. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, two dollars. So again, these are the kind of things that you you can come across, you know, only in the OSR, you know, and and the the group of people that produce for the OSR, you know, really do, um, they really do put their love into what they're doing and um you know so there there's always something of interest to see there so like i said i was going to um i was going to switch over and show you drive through rpg and some of the things that he actually has out there so i'm just going to uh, flip views let's see yeah so here we have uh so all of these are under uh eldrad Wolfsbane, and you can go through my affiliate link and look him up and and get some of his things. But uh, like I said, he has um, he has many items below, you know, at or below two dollars. Uh, some of them even lower than that. Um, I'm sure he has free stuff. Um, so let's let's take a look at what this is here. So this is just. Looks like 80 cents. So 80 cents. Let's see. Who will save the orchids? Um, he actually sent me a copy of this as well. So I take a look at it. So this is character levels 1 through 3. BX Advanced Legacy Rules. Um, by Eldrad Wolfsbane. 
caution adult content. So again, you know, not all of this is, is meant for, is meant for children. And, um, I'm not quite sure how long this one is. I, I'd have to open it up and take a look at it, but probably not very long, but like I said, 80 cents on sale for the remainder of, uh, for the remainder of the month. So definitely something to look at. Uh, let's see what else he has here. And let's see back to the dungeon book one. So this, <coughs> this might actually be like the rule set that he's using. So races and classes. Uh, let's look at the full preview of this. It's a D20 light book one. All right, races, and we go through um, the player's guide, rolling attributes and modifiers, kind of goes through. Some nice artwork in there. Um, so originally produced or, or uh, designed in uh, 2003. So again, going back quite a ways and... This is a 17 page preview. So I'm sure that it, um, you know, it has quite a bit there. Um, again, just love the, love the fact that the art is hand drawn and, you know, and not meant to, not meant to be overly polished or anything like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right. Um, and again, that's only a dollar 60, uh, at full price. It is $2. <laughs> So you really can't go wrong with uh, checking out the, you know, some of these things. Um, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure he will most likely have either free, yeah, pay, pay what you want, which is essentially free or it's 20 cents or something like that. Um, it's really up to you. Um, so this is uh, back to the dungeon zine for LLAEC. What is it? LL is LL Labyrinth Lord and AEC? I'm not quite sure. Um, not quite sure what he means by those. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what a AEC means. Hopefully he'll jump in here and, and correct me. Um, so this is a sample, seven page sample. Um, just love the fact hand hand drawn uh hand drawn art and again is this pay what you want yeah this is pay what you want so suggested one dollar um remastered okay so anyway um like i said you can certainly jump in here. He has 68 titles on uh, on Drive Through RPG. Uh, you will find them in, in various different uh, uh, different genres and everything. Let's take a look at this one really quick. The Ruined World. Pay what you want. Full preview is uh, four pages. Looks like a sample city. I'm sure it's much longer longer than that um but anyway so i hope you enjoyed that uh you know like i like i keep on saying the the osr is a place where you can find these uh you know sometimes these tongue-in-cheek or whimsical or you know just products that are built from the love of the game uh the love of the hobby and they put them out there and, and like I said they're they're very they're very cheap oftentimes free or pay what you want and uh, and this is just what uh, creators like this like to put out there so that you can you know you can jump in and you can bring yourself back to a time when when you might have been a young teenager doing things like this yourself you know and um, you know or just pulling ideas and stuff about uh, you know how do I how do I write adventures and, and put them together? And, you know, what are some common elements that uh, many different creators use? If you're looking to start doing this kind of thing yourself, you do not have to be 
um, a polished professional in order to produce uh, fun quality uh, you know materials uh, to be used at your gaming table so once again thanks for joining I hope you like this video as much as I enjoyed taking a look at this and, and doing a you know a first look at uh, die 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 pig orc so as always thanks for joining have a great day